Kia ora koutou. My name is Amanda Rain, and I have great pleasure to welcome you on behalf of Arts Council Nelson. Arts Council Nelson is very proud to present the Special Changing Threads National Showcase. Over the years, Arts Council Nelson has invested significant time, energy and funds in presenting the awards, and we are thrilled that Changing Threads has become a highly significant annual event for contemporary fibre artists and extend our thanks to them for their fabulous creativity and valued participation. Changing Threads would not be the success it is without the continued and hugely appreciated creative production of Ronnie Martin and the huge input of the Arts Council Nelson staff and volunteers. We thank them as well as the Nelson Regional Development Agency for recognising the significance of this event and the support it has given towards the 2022 showcase. Last but not least, the award simply could not happen without the wonderful support of our award sponsors, whom we thank enormously, particularly our major sponsors, Nelson City Council and Bernina New Zealand, who have shared our 13 year Changing Threads journey from day one. Thank you, and I would now like to introduce Joe Kinross, who is going to speak on behalf of the selectors. Yes, sure. Um, the selection process involves several stages. Um, people who are wanting to put an entry in fill out a fairly complex form. Not too hard, but um, we need to know the concept behind the piece. We need to know what the materials are and the processes that have been used to make the piece. And so they send the form and photos of their work in to the Arts Council and then there are three selectors and we go through every entry. We look at all the photos really carefully. The quality of the photos sometimes makes that process quite difficult, but um, every piece is given equal attention. And then out of that, we select, uh, we have a yes pile, a no pile and a maybe pile <laughs> of photos. And, um, and then if we've got queries about something, we'll go back to the, in, um, the entry form and that will clarify things for us as well. And so then what happens is the people who are in the um, accepted pile, that they, they'll be sent a, a letter asking them to send the work in physically. And after that's happened, then we have a second round of selection. And again, we go through the pieces really carefully, giving careful consideration to um, the quality, the, the nature of the work, the concept behind the work, because concept is equally important to skills and techniques and materials. So it's really a combination of all of those things that we're looking for. And it needs to be contemporary. It needs to be pushing um, the boundaries. So you can have a traditional quilting piece, but there needs to be something about that traditional piece that's been done in a traditional um, technique that's actually different and taking it beyond the normal. So that's what we're looking for in each of the pieces. What's unique about this? What's contemporary? What's pushing the boundaries? We, we like to take risks. We're not conservative, obviously, because it's a show that's meant to be highlighting and showcasing the very best of contemporary fibre and textile art in New Zealand. And um, so that's hopefully reflected in the pieces that we choose. Hello, I'm Ronnie Martin. I'm the Creative Director for the Changing Threads Contemporary Textile Art Awards. And we're delighted that this is our 13th year. So I've been the creator since the beginning, since our very inception. And it's been incredibly exciting over the years to see how the standard of the work has risen. Uh, we've had a lot of repeat entrants and a lot of new people joining us, which is very exciting. It's particularly wonderful to be able to hold the show this year with all the COVID requirements changing things continually. Uh, but I'd like to say a special thank you to Yanya, our gallery manager, and Heidi, our administration person extraordinaire. 
Uh, we're missing having Lloyd with us because he's always such a part of the team. However, I'm delighted to have had Joe beside me as always, being a support and encouragement. It's been wonderful. We'd like to also thank all our helpers that have helped volunteering to hang the show. I think those of you who are able to come will agree that it's actually probably our strongest yet. We have some really beautiful work. So the next thing I'd like to do is introduce our judges. So we have Lynn Taylor from Dunedin and Jill Saunders from our local Nelson area, both of whom are artists extraordinaire in their own right. And it's been an absolute delight to work with them to make our very hard decision. And it was a very hard decision this year, but some very, very exciting conversation throughout. So I will pass that over to them. Thank you. Kia ora. It's been really wonderful to be part of the Changing Threads exhibition and having a judging experience. I think that, of course, we wish there were more prizes, and I'd just like to say that I think you being selected for this show is an accomplishment in itself. So well done, everybody who's been represented. The criteria we worked on is that the work would be well executed, and this was to show a knowledge of traditional techniques, but then also the ability of the maker to turn it into their own language, their own marks, and have some authentic making. So we were looking for work that showed innovation. We were looking for work that we hadn't seen before, so we spent the day researching as well, sharing our knowledge, looking up on the internet, just really reinforcing that we had made the right choices. We were also wanting evidence that the maker's concept shone through. Could we understand what the maker was wanting to say? And this really included too the way that the maker had wanted their work installed. What sort of experience were they giving to the viewer? Of course, it was difficult, but don't forget there is one more award that you can participate in. There is the Viewers Award. So don't forget to cast your vote for that. So the award that I would like to announce is sponsored by Bernina New Zealand. It's for a very generous $2,000 for innovative use of a sewing machine. This was a tough call. We had a lot of debate. We very much admired the work of Helen Bevan and Lisa Call for their innovative use of the, the textures that were built up and the different way of working and the process and the descriptions of them. However, the winner we are pleased to announce is the work of Jeanette Vesta, hollow words. These little bowls are deceptively simple, and this is because the material union is, of her process is extremely well executed. She's built her pieces up from nothing. There's paper, stitch, paint, and wax. And if you've ever tried to stitch paper on a sewing machine, you'll know that it can buckle and it can rip. And she even managed to do this on a two-dimensional form. Her work has a political commentary and her dipping her pieces in wax at the end is not only practical but it also feels to us like she's in case the political scene that's going on with COVID right at this moment. She's in case that's present time for all time. Her bowls reference home and they invite you to hold them. You want to bring them close to yourself. Congratulations Jeanette. Hi, my name's Gillian Saunders. Um, I'm from Nelson and um, I'm very honoured to have been asked to, to be one of the judges uh, this year. Um, I'd like to announce the Dame Susie Moncrief Award, which is to the value of $500, um, sponsored by Dame Susie Moncrief and also Creative Journey Workshops. And I'd like to announce the winner, who is Donna Olfrey, with her piece, Kai. We, um, we looked at this piece and we absolutely loved it instantly. It's a very, very strong piece. As you come around the corner, you instantly see the shape of a fish, which um, is one of the um, symbols that she describes in her, in her piece. Um, it's a clever use of recycled materials. It's the foam matting offcuts. Um, traditionally, we don't really think of foam as being a textile, but um, you know, matting, it's a contemporary um, take on matting. And also it's um, quite often used in fashion design as well, which is, um, which is amazing take on that. We were very impressed by the shadows that it cast. Um, it made a very um, deep sort of um, design after the design as well, in, inside the design. 
And um, we thought that gave it a lot of extra depth and interest as well, which we really loved. Um, all in all, the piece was just stunning and it's visually um, amazing. So congratulations, Donna. Well done. The runner-up award is sponsored by the Arts Council Nelson and Fresh Choice Nelson City. It is for $1,500 and we are pleased to announce the winner of this award is Janet Bathgate for her work Microfilium Anxiety Arti. We were all drawn to this work. It has a huge impact on the wall. Every element of this work stands on its own right and as a whole it makes an even bigger element of impression. It's cohesive as a whole work and the viewer experience of looking at it is very satisfying and this is partly due to the paradoxical elements that she's brought into it. There's the simple obvious one of natural materials and man-made materials of black and white but there is other things going on like the work is very ephemeral, it's very fragile, hanging by the thread but yet inside these seed pods is the hope of new life, something else could grow and happen from this. The concealing and revealing of the work of the marks that she's made with thread and a touch of ink is very minimal and very alluring. Congratulations, Janet, on this elegant work. It is very poetic and one that I keep returning to time and time again. Thank you. Well, we come to the end of the evening and I have the exciting job of announcing our supreme winner. As always, it's a real pleasure being able to share such beautiful work, but this particular work really stood out for us. Our supreme winner this year is Claire Ellery from Wellington with her beautiful work, Strata. Using a base of traditional tapestry making, this work has elevated a common contemporary material to an extraordinary level. The geological references are emphasized by the subtle gradations of shape and color it intrigues, delights, and invites repeated contemplation. This award is sponsored by the Nelson City Council and Arts Council Nelson, and we're very delighted to have such a worthy winner this year. I think you will all agree it's pretty exceptional. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing this exciting evening with us. Even though many of you are only going to be able to see this online, I hope you'll agree that it's certainly been a wonderful show and the catalogues will be available, the show will be filmed as a walkthrough and be online and there'll be a floor talk which will be filmed at some stage which will be available later towards the end of the show. So wherever you are around New Zealand or overseas, please join us to really celebrate our wonderful awards and we look forward to seeing maybe more entries next year. Thank you. Thank you.